the identification of the Challenger crew. Hello everyone. Today, we're delving into an essential but somber topic, the process through which the Challenger crew's bodies were positively identified. This event was a significant moment in space history, and it's crucial to approach it with the respect and seriousness it deserves. Let's get started. What happened to the Challenger? On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart just 73 seconds after liftoff, leading to the deaths of its seven crew members. While many are familiar with the tragic event, fewer are aware of the recovery and identification process that followed. How were the remains discovered? Months after the explosion, the crew compartment was located on the ocean floor, approximately 100 feet deep. Within this, the remains of the crew members were found. The ocean's cold temperatures preserved the bodies to an extent, but they were still in a condition that made visual identification difficult. What process was used for identification? Forensic techniques were employed to identify each of the crew members. The team used, one, dental records. Much like in other disaster scenarios, dental records are often more durable than other means of identification. By comparing dental x-rays taken before the mission with the remains found, they were able to positively identify each astronaut. 2. Personal items. Personal items that were found alongside the remains also provided clues. For example, jewelry, watches, and even flight suits can be identifiers. 3. Anthropological assessment. Bones can give a lot of information, such as age, height, and even gender. Expert anthropologists were on hand to assess these details, cross-referencing them with known data about the astronauts. Why was it important to identify them? The identification process, though painful, provided closure to families and loved ones. It allowed for individual funerals and memorials to take place. Moreover, it was an essential part of NASA's commitment to transparency and accountability ensuring that all processes, even the most tragic ones, are handled with the utmost care and respect. The Challenger disaster is a stark reminder of the risks involved in space exploration. The recovery and identification of its brave crew members is a testament to the thoroughness and dedication of the teams involved. We hope that this video has provided clarity on this topic. Let us always remember the Challenger crew and their contribution to space exploration.